Hello all, Scooby331 here. Uh, this is part two. I was actually in the middle of filming that other video, well, one well, of the same video rather, and uh, I ran out of time because there's not a lot of disk space on here. I hit like the 45 minute mark and it cut off. I was uh, in the process of uh, addressing apologies and thank yous and uh, appreciations and whatnot for the people who got dragged into all this stupid nonsense in the past few months, and again in the past few weeks when this shit got uh, heated up again, and uh, I was just, I was appreciative of the folks who were there, stood by my side and helped me and guided me through a lot of this, uh, other folks who didn't choose a side, but even though they, you know, backed me up and agreed with me, they stayed neutral because they wasn't going to do any good if they did anything. And a lot of them were correct in that, and I appreciate them just for not uh, not throwing in a lot with other people. And uh, apologies to all that got affected by this stuff, uh, even if I haven't named you thus far. Uh, anyone who I haven't named in the last video and who I don't name in this video, if I did miss you, I apologize. I uh, didn't mean to miss you. You know, it's just there's a lot of folks here. I already went through an entire page worth of people. The last person I had actually gotten to was uh, the Inquisitor, and I was in the process of talking to Quiz when this died out on me. So, Quiz, if you didn't hear what I was saying, yeah, thank you, man. Thank you for uh, streaming with me when uh, Stan Lee died, even though I'd been labeled the, with the Scarlet Letter. You know, meant a lot, seriously. You know, it was uh, I was in shock when Stan died. I'm sure a lot of us were, and... Uh, just having you hop on, man. You know, we were going to talk anyway. I didn't like being the only comic book nerd on there, and it felt good to have somebody I could actually talk to that knew the creative loss I felt, the void, after he passed. And uh, if anyone was giving you any slack over this, man, I'm sorry you caught heat because of me. Seriously, like, again, all you guys who were catching all this heat, I, I kept telling people, direct the fucking hatred at me, but... For whatever reason, people decided they didn't want to. They wanted to go after everyone else. So, again, I'm really sorry that, you know, you guys went through all that. That's not right. <coughs> Excuse me. It's, uh, just the, the environment that I'm in down here right now. This is, like I said before, uh, my sister's old abandoned apartment that, uh, because of the hurricane and whatnot, it's, it is what it is. Uh, Leonid Gorbovsky, a time to speak. Sorry, man. I always have problems with that name. It sounds really cool, like Russian border guard. But, uh, time to speak. Time. I don't think you caught too much flack about this, and if you did, you let it roll off your ass like water off a duck's ass, basically. So, I think you're good, man. But, hey, if you caught any flack for this, I'm sorry you caught it. Uh, I know you didn't give a shit, but I'm sorry either way. Just thank you for being there, man. You know, you're another one of these young guys. Uh, I keep forgetting your age because, you know, you, you're so mature for your age. You know, you're more mature than most people my age, actually. So, just thank you for being there, man. You know, like every Friday, I mean, the everyone, the whole internet is screaming bloody murder. And you hit me up, okay, let's stream. <sighs> Fucking A, man. I appreciate you being there. There was a few times you streamed with me, and I honestly, you know, thought you were not going to make it through the night because you were in your deathbed. And this is before all this crazy shit started. You were deathly sick, but you still stream with us. And, uh, yeah, man. Like, it, it's not a Friday if, like, come come 5, 6 o'clock if I don't get that message in, in the inbox, like, are we streaming tonight? And... I look forward to seeing that every week. I'm just letting you know that. That's when I know it's definitely Friday. Because even if I don't hear up from you all week, I hear from you Friday. So thank you. I appreciate that, man. The man of the hour. I forgot he was next on the list. National Libertarian Porpoiseful Discussion. Porpoiseful. You know, I appreciate you talking to me about all this. I appreciate all your help. Bro, I appreciate everything you've done for me. You don't know me from Adam. And you did a lot for me. You hooked me up with uh, good guidance and advice when I needed it. Uh, I thought just going and talking on the streams and addressing things directly to the folks was uh, that's how I was and how I am. I talked to you directly about it. 
And you mentioned I should cut these videos. <clears throat> and you mentioned to me that I should maybe bullet point down the people I'm going to talk about. And I'm glad you gave me that advice. You know, I was going to do something like this anyway. And I came up with the idea, and I'm glad I talked to Paul Purposeful about it, because he's like, nah, do it this way. And uh, <coughs> I wanted to give him all the credit for this, because, you know, he basically wrote, he, he told me how I should go about doing this. Not that this is like, you know, inventing the wheel here, but it was one of those things where, you know, he gave me some sagely advice. He was like, no, you were going to do it on your own. He's like, well, I just made sure that you didn't go in the wrong direction on the road. But still, credit where credit is due, man. My hat's, hat's off to you. Thank you. Seriously. Because, uh, yeah, you're a good friend. You know, like, you don't... A lot of folks that I stream with... Uh, they know I can be sometimes uh, a handful. You don't let me pull any of my shit. And I appreciate that, you know. Everyone else, uh, they try to be, you know, like the good friend. And uh, you try, you are the firm friend, you know. Like when the guy's wild out, acting crazy, acting fool, doing this, doing the third. You're the guy that'll hold off, punch him in the mouth, lay him the fuck out. So he doesn't get his ass arrested. You did him the favor. It's tough love. And I appreciate that from you. And I thank you for this. Um, I'd apologize if you caught any heat from this, but we both know that it's actually like the fuel that keeps your fire burning. So um, instead of an apology, you're welcome. <laughs> but no, seriously, if anyone did give you any flack about this, man, I, I'm sorry if they did. You know, like I just said, you're a good friend, and I appreciate all the help you gave me. That's, uh, let me see, we're getting down now to Irving Twin. Irv. Irv. Kamenuch. Paisano. Yeah, bro. Irv, thank you just for putting up with me. Seriously, if I, if I was you and I had a crazy friend from New York and I was a mild-mannered Canadian guy, you know, uh, sitting there quietly pondering like Riley Dennis, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't put up with this crazy fucking guy from down south, you know, if I was you, and, uh, but you did, you put up with my nuttiness, you put up with, uh, me being a pain in the ass, and you put up with all the crazy shit that's been getting thrown at you, getting bombarded, people, the, the, all sorts of crazy shit they were coming at you with, and even when I was being a colossal douche, you who just... They completely ignored it, knew that it was uh, what I was going through talking more than I was talking, talking out of my ass rather than talking from my heart. And you saw that and uh, you, what you call it, you didn't let it bother you. you. You just took it in stride and said, OK, I'll just deal with it because he's my friend. And I really appreciate that. You're a good friend. And thank you for it. Thank you very much. Seriously. You don't know how much it means to me to have somebody like you in my corner, Irv. Thank you. And, of course, next we have Miss Allie. Miss Allie is uh, a good friend. She's a very good friend. I appreciate uh, that she was there as a voice of comfort through a lot of this shit. Um, everyone was telling her things about me. She went by what she knew from talking to me. And uh, a lot of people were hyperbolic about me. And... Uh, she didn't buy into the bullshit. She didn't believe the hype. And she's still my friend. And that means more to me than anything. You have no idea. And if you caught any flack about this, Miss Allie, I'm really sorry you did. And I'm just glad that you're there my fr and you're my friend and that you were there for me. So thank you. I really appreciate that. Sarah Hatcher B. Sanders. Poor Sarah. You know, I... I think Sarah's a great person, and what you guys do to Sarah, that's that ain't right, man. It really ain't right. Sarah's good people. She's got a heart as big as a friggin' uh, swimming pool. She'd do anything for anybody, and she's very trusting, and people think she's stupid because she's trusting. And the thing is, Sarah has a big heart, and Sarah just wants to be, she wants to love people and be loved. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because, you know, it's not like it's a one-way street. She doesn't want just your adoration. Sarah gives it back ten times over what she gets. 
she's a great person. And the fact that you guys went after her and did all this horrible shit to that poor girl, you got no coops, really, you know? And you've been torturing her and tormenting her for talking to me. Sarah, I'm so sorry you went through all this. You don't deserve any of that. You're a good person. You're a good friend. I'm so sorry. And the fact that you sat there and went through all this and went through all the shit that they were doing to you. And there's been a few things in the past couple of weeks where you and I have... Uh, there's been differences and it's been mostly on my part just because... Uh, the shit that was going on, and you didn't let it call your opinion of me, and you were still my friend, and stayed my friend, even though you thought that you and I weren't friends for a brief period, which was just a misunderstanding, and a lot of other people, they would have thought that I threw them under the bus, and they would have turned on me, and you did not change your conviction, and the fact that you got hurt thinking that I wasn't talking to you anymore, out of anything that's happened in the past couple of weeks, that's actually what's bothered me more than I think anything else, was you did right by me, and you thought I did wrong by you, and you still continue to do right by me, and when I found out about that, I don't want to say it broke my heart like you did anything bad, I broke my own heart that that had happened, and it upset me so much, and when all this crazy shit went down the other day, you were one of the first people in my corner, you were there, and you have no idea how much that means to me, thank you, I really appreciate that. Now, I wanted to actually address uh, these guys next as a group, but I'm going to break it down one by one. Gulf City. Now, this is the thing. Um, as for those of you who have been living on Mars for the past couple of months, I had gotten into the argument with these imbeciles. Uh, not Gulf City. That's what I'm getting at. I got into an argument with these imbeciles who were presenting themselves to me and had been presenting themselves to me as the Gulf City crew. I just thought that that meant that they were Gulf City. I was, because anyone else who was with Gulf City, I've noticed had the class to not rub their, their name in my face. Like, when this broke afterwards, what had happened was uh, the, the thing where uh, that stupid video, I didn't know that they weren't Gulf City until after the video broke. And... Immediately, I tried hitting up a few people, and they were pissed. I cannot blame them for being pissed. Now, understand, though, this is my point. Um, I'm definitely, I apologize for you guys getting pissed off at me, because I did not know that they were not affiliated with you guys, that they were just fans and people who hung out on your servers. Um, it wasn't until this at all broke that somebody had showed me the picture of uh, the group shot of Gulf City. I'm looking, I'm like, who the fuck are these people? You know, like, that's Gulf City. I'm like, this isn't the people that started with me. So I didn't know the difference. Now, I've talked to a few people uh, about this, well, obviously off uh, off the air. And uh, basically, part of the reason I didn't come forward and talk about this yet was uh, a few things I got told by a few people to hold back on uh, cutting the video until this time. Believe it or not, you'd think that they wanted uh, an apology video earlier, but I was uh, asked, rather, not told, but asked, uh, hang back for a minute. So, okay, cool, I'll hang back. Um, I think what it was, they wanted to see for themselves what was going on, and uh, I guess if I would have cut the video, it would have called their opinions. Now, granted, I didn't talk to anyone directly from Gulf City. I didn't get on the horn with any of them. This was all told by me to me by people who were close with by fr close with them, and I said, "Okay, I was going to cut an apology video." They're like, "Hold off on it for a minute." I'm like, "Hold off? I'm like, yeah, just wait." I said, "Okay, I'll, I'll hold off." Now again, this wasn't told to me by them. So if anyone goes and runs and asks people affiliated with Gulf City, and they're like, "What the fuck is Scooby talking about?" I just I got told this. And I said, "Okay, I'll wait." And when I had the uh, brought it up with National Libertarian, he had actually mentioned this would be a good time for that, so, um, I don't know, I'm just saying that, uh, that's why I'm doing this video now, I figured the time was good, a few people had told me that the timing was good, I said, okay, I was gonna do this a few months ago, when all this shit first started happening, but then something else happened, and something else happened, I think that might have been why, 
Um, they may be wanting me to hang back on it. You know, don't, don't cut the video. Something's going to happen next week. I'm probably reading too much into it, and that was probably what it was. And I'm looking back on it, you know. Uh, I'm seeing espionage around every corner at this point, so I might be overthinking it. That's probably what it was. So, uh, yeah. Um, the, the people I had talked to that were affiliated with Gulf City were T-Tac and uh, Dual Wield and the Temp. Um... T-Tech and Dual Wield, I owe you guys an apology because until this story broke and you guys uh, both hit me up to let me know what the fuck are you doing, we're Gulf City, I didn't know you guys were Gulf City, um, I didn't know again who Gulf City was, I had tried to hit up both of you since this happened, I think, I'm not, I'm not sure actually about T-Tech if I had hit you up, I'm sorry about this, I had hit up Dual Wield once, he hadn't responded to me, so I didn't hit him up again, because he sounded pissed off in the last message, which was still cordial, by the way, so, um, guys, if you hear this, once you hear this, rather, again, I had no idea that these guys were Gulf City, I had no idea that they weren't Gulf City, I had no idea you guys were Gulf City, I wish somebody would have explained that to me. But hopefully it didn't cause you too much trouble. And what I had said in that video uh, about your show is obviously over. No, no, no. I had never dropped a hammer. I looked into it. I didn't obviously push any. I didn't do anything to screw you guys over is my point. I could have, but I didn't know it was you. I thought you, I thought you were a bunch of lunatic furries that were threatening a, a woman with CPS. False CPS calls, rather. So, obviously that's not you, so I I got no beef with you guys, and the hell would I do anything to you for then? I mean, I'm not going to drop the hammer, I'm not going to make any calls, I'm not going to push any buttons, because you don't deserve it. You didn't do anything. It wasn't you. And, uh, again, I got no beef towards you guys, and the reason I singled you guys out specifically, uh, Dual Wield and T-Tech, I had mentioned to you guys uh, about the alumni thing that they have in my... Uh, at the school I went to, the Scratch Academy, I think it's on 2nd and 5th, or 5th and 2nd, I don't remember, uh, they have the, the, the alumni thing, again, next summer, if you guys make it out to New York, the office still stands, I'm not a bastard, it's not because we had a little bit of static, well, now that's a revolt, no, it, it still stands, if you guys want to come out, meet some legends, hobnob, drink some watered down punch up on a friggin' roof, some people get off on that, you, I'll let you, I'll, I'll bring you with me, is my point, Definitely. I made the offer. The offer still stands. And for any headache it costs you guys, I'm sorry. Uh, the temp. Brother, thank you. You know, out of a lot of folks on here, a lot of people, you know, would say, you know, my brother, my brother. The temp actually came through. All this shit happened and the temp said, you know what? Everyone says all this shit. They're showing me all this stuff. It doesn't seem right. Scoob, you and I talked a long time on a few different occasions for a long time on end. I take you at your word, man. Let's talk. And the temp took me at my word, and me and the temp talked for about this for a minute. And the temp was the one, he schooled me into, you know, a few different things. And uh, he was the one, he had mentioned to me about, you know, hanging back on the, the video just right right now. You know, he said, Let, let's see how the cards fall. And I said, okay, cool. So part of the thing was I had hung back on his advice, which was, I think, also sagely advice. Uh, Temp, if I'm misquoting you and I just said you didn't mean it like that, I apologize. I'm not trying to. Also, anyone else, I, if I mention anything we talked about and it sounds like I'm putting words in your mouth, then I must have misunderstood you. And I'll cut another video to clear it up. It might only be two, three minutes if I two or three people hit me up and I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you talking about, Scoop? You know, but uh, yeah, I'll do that. But yeah, definitely Temp. He's good people. I apologize if you got any flack. I apologize for the hard, the hardship I caused you. You and the other members of Gulf City. Well, I know you're not a member of Gulf City. You're like, you know, you're a good friend of theirs. But you know what I mean. I didn't mean to cause any of you hardship. Again, I, th I thought it was that bunch of lunatics that was, uh, that, that they were trying to blackmail a woman by threatening her autistic children. I just want that to sink in. So, guys, yeah, Gulf City, I have no problem with you guys, especially Ghastly. Ghastly, I want to apologize to you. I don't know you. I've never met you. I've never spoken to you. I don't even know what your voice sounds like. Um, 
I didn't, uh, all I knew was you and uh, Gulf City was uh, your show. And uh, these people all said that they were the Gulf City crew. I thought that these were your actors. Uh, that's pretty much where I'm at with all of that. I had no idea who these yahoos were. And uh, they just referred to themselves as this Gulf City crew. And the thing was, GCV's avatar, it said GCV. I think it was Gulf City Videos or whatever. So that's who I thought I was dealing with. And uh, when they, you know, started, like, making those threats, I checked to make sure I could actually pull off what I was saying. And was going in there to try to say to them, look, you guys make that call to, GPS, to CPS, I'm going to drop the hammer. And then that fucking kid just started mouthing off to me and laughing with that ridiculous laugh of his. And I'm like, oh, fuck these people. Fuck these people where they breathe. And I, that's why I said, you know what? Fuck you, Gulf City's over, and I'm out. I didn't know, again, that it was your show. I thought it was just these furries. So I'm sorry about that misunderstanding, man. I know it's probably caused you tons of hardship and woe the past couple of months. And I apologize for not addressing this sooner, but I had talked about this on the air, as I said in the last video. I figured everything was kosher because I talked about it on the air. I did not realize that it was going to be uh, a snowballing problem. And I wasn't being trying to be rude by not cutting this video. So I apologize for it taking so long, but it didn't occur to me, you know, like I talked about it on the air. I figured I speak my piece in public where people can question me. Like to me, a video, it's too closed. It's like boxed in. You can't interact. That's why I didn't want to do videos. But again, National Libertarian schooled me to it. He's like, school, just, just go cut the fucking video, man. All right. I figured I covered No, no, no. People appreciate a video. So this is me doing the video. I'm sorry, again, that uh, you went through all that. I had no beef with you. I still got no beef with you. Uh, even if you were saying, to an extent, horrible shit, like if, you know, you were saying stuff, uh, you did think I was trying to destroy your livelihood, so I can't really fault you for it. But, again, it depends. I mean, there, there's a limit. If you're sitting there telling, talking about, well, you want to banish my soul to the, to the nether realm, or the, the shadow realm, or the nether regions, or whatever the fuck it's, well, yeah, then we're not banishing souls. But yeah, I could understand if you were cursing my name, and I can't fault you for it, is my point. So, you know, Gasly, if you, if you said anything and you got a problem with me, or had a problem with me, and you feel, you know, like a dick because you said what you said, bro, you thought I was the friggin' Antichrist coming to, you know, like, destroy what you worked on. I can't blame you for having any false uh, impressions and harsh words. So, if you get the chance when you see this, man, I understand you're busy. You know, you got, you're doing the, whatever that thing is you're doing. The, I'm sorry, the Templars tell me. I can't remember what the name of it is off the top of my head. Some of the gears or whatever. Uh, I don't know, Grease and Gears or Gears of Grease or whatever the fuck. I don't know, whatever your show is, uh, the, the thing with the gears. He said you're doing that right now and you're busy. All right, cool, he's busy. But, uh, eh, I'm around, man. If you get the minute, you can hit me up. I don't want to bother you. We could rap about this for a few minutes. You want to sit there and lace into me? You can lay into me. I mean, I'm apologizing here. I don't know what the point is, but if you just want to get it out of your system, rock on. I can sit there and take an earful, you know. But, uh, yeah, I got no beef with you, man. And, uh, if anything, down the road, I mean, I think I know a few people that might actually be able to help you. So, if I can, I'll try. But, yeah, I got no beef with you, Gasly. I got no beef with Gulf City in general. I don't dislike you guys. I don't even know who you guys are. Look, Gasly, I'll level with you. Uh, now that basically, uh, you got rid of your mascot? You're the only person I know of that's actually on Gulf City. I don't know anyone else on there. I don't watch your show. No offense. I don't watch the content of half of the people I st Let me rephrase that. I don't watch the content of like 90% of the people I stream with. Uh, I don't even watch my own content. I couldn't tell you half of the videos I put up. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's nothing personal that I never watched your shit. I don't watch anything, really. Uh, I watch Stick, Sex, and Hammer maybe... Every other video, depending on what the content is, uh, I usually wind up uh, disagreeing with them half, like, not even halfway through. Maybe, up oh, there goes the burner. Maybe 25% of the way through, I, I wind up shutting it off. Yeah. I'm a curmudgeon. That's just my nature. So don't take it personal. Oh, uh, let me see. Gutenberg. My brother from another mother. Me and Gutenberg.
we literally have like almost the identical lives. And uh, Gutenberg, I, I'm sorry that you got put into the mix that you got put into, man. You were put in a very tight position because I know you're tight with Gasly, and you and me, like that, we clicked. We just immediately got, you know, a good rapport going. And I'll be honest, until like when we were talking about it off the air, like you, me, and uh, Schmeckle, and I think like one or two of those other guys, uh, and you told me how many subscribers you had. I only remember that it was a big number because Schmeckle like hit orgasm when he realized how many uh, subscribers you got. And I remember I said to you, you got that many subscribers? And you said to me, yeah, you, you didn't know that? Man, I've never looked at any of your content, really. I didn't even know who the fuck you were until you started talking to me that one day. And you said, really? And I said, yeah, yeah. The reason I started talking to you and streaming with you is because I liked you. I thought you were cool. And I did mean that then, and I mean that now. Uh, the fuck? You got something like, what, 30,000 subscribers? Maybe more than that? It was up higher at one point. You know, rock on. But that's not the reason I started talking to you, man. I started talking to you, one, because your accent uh, makes me sound uh, less uh, less offensive to the ears. You know, you, you, no, but seriously, not just because of the accent, man. I started talking to you because, you know, similar walk of life, similar life experiences. We're the same age, for God's sake. Almost everything is the same. Every time you and I talk, we find out something else about each other. And I don't want these idiots and their crazy shit to ruin that good relationship and rapport that you and I had, so, I, from the bottom of my heart, man, I'm sorry if anyone caused you any trouble, gave you any grief over any of this shit, and, uh, thank you for being there, and thank you for hopping on the stream last week, or two weeks ago, to show solidarity with us, uh, it figures you hop on right after I passed out from exhaustion, that is what it is, so good, when you get this, man. Fucking hit me up, for God's sake. I, I wish you a happy Thanksgiving. I don't hear from you. I understand you're busy, but... Come on. Hit a brother back. So, now we're down to my crew. I had already mentioned Irv before, but uh, that's just because I had jotted people down as I was going. Uh, I want to talk to Pox Toxic. Pox. You already know what I'm going to say, but thank you, man. Oh, Pox. You went uh, you went through uh, Hellfire and back, you know, to fix the relationship you and I had because we had already had our differences in the past. And, you know, I was being a bit of a curmudgeon, a bit of a hard ass, a bit of a, an immovable object, and you didn't give up. And you weren't like a dick about it. You weren't harsh or 